this video I'll be talking about how to fix the Google Chrome 503 error. So you can first try to refresh the page. Sometimes the issue is temporary and simply refreshing the web page can restore access. If the website you are visiting is momentarily overloaded, the problem may resolve itself after a few seconds. You can also try to restart your router and PC. The 503 error can be related to DNS failures or connectivity issues on your side. Restarting your router and device can refresh your connection and perhaps even fix your problem. You can also try to switch to a different DNS server. If you suspect the issue is related to DNS, switching to a different DNS server may resolve the error. If these steps don't work, it is likely that the issue is with the website's server and you will need to wait for the site administrators to resolve it. So what can you do if the HTTP error 503 persists? If you tried refreshing the page, rebooting your system and switching DNS servers, but the 503 error still occurs, it is time to accept that the issue is server side. The best course of action is to wait for the site's administrators to address the problem. If the site is critical to your workflow, you can try to contact the support team for an estimated time for a resolution. In the meantime, you can check websites like down detectors to see if there's other users are experiencing similar issues like you have, which can confirm that the problem is widespread. And that's how you do it. If you have any questions about it, please leave them down in the comments section below and I'll try my best to answer them as quickly as possible. See ya!